What's up guys? It's me. My name is Sergeant Florendo and today we are discussing about the Greek literature and the literary sample of it. And I give some little knowledge about the topic today. So, shall we start? So what is the Greek literature? The Greek literature has influenced not only its Roman neighbors to the west, but also countless generations across the European continent. The Greek writers are responsible for the introductions of such genres as poetry, tragedy, comedy, and Western philosophy to the world because they had a rich history of both war and peace, leaving an illegible imprint on the culture and people. So I choose the literary sample of the Greek literature, which is the entitled name of the history of Daedalus and Icarus. The name of the author is Nick Pontikis. So the story is all about the Daedalus is a brilliant inventor and he had son named Icarus. One day, King Minos invited him to the island of Crete and asked him to build a huge maze, a labyrinth for the whom King's beloved pet, the Minotaur, who was half man and half bull. Daedalus worked day and night along with his son Icarus to build labyrinth. When the labyrinth is ready, King Minos rewarded him. One day, a group of children they sailed to the island of Crete. In the next day, they sailed safely away, taking with them King's lovely daughter and leaving behind them one dead Minotaur. King Minos was very angry because he believed Daedalus helped the children as there no other way to escape alive. King Minos punished the innocent Daedalus and his son by keeping them prisoners on the island of Crete. Daedalus tried to think of ways to escape on the island. Daedalus noticed all the birds flying overhead and it gave him an idea, the wings. Daedalus began to gather all the wings that he could find. He glued them together with wax. When the two pair of wings was ready, he warned young son not to fly too less his wings touch the waves and get wet, and not to fly too close to the sun because the wax would be melt. They left on the island and far behind them. Icarus flew higher and higher. He flew so high before he knew what was happening. The sun had begun to melt the wax on his wings. Icarus fell into the sea and drowned. The Icarian Sea where he fell was named after him. And there is also nearby smallest island called Icaria. So this is the end of the story. So what do you learn in the story?